Well, we start this hour, we are talking to Michael Catt. Michael, the senior pastor at Sherwood Baptist Church. You may know him and the church for movies such as Flywheel, Facing the Giants, Fireproof, Courageous, um, and of course, uh, the, some books that have accompanied uh, those great movies. And, and, you know, the, and, and it really is uh, something that I, I think is pretty cool. Uh, if you know Michael Catt, he has a vision statement, which I think is spot on. Whoever wants the next generation the most will be who gets them. And Michael has joined us here on the Rick and Bubba Show. Hey, welcome back, Michael. How you doing? Oh, glad to be with you. Michael, we enjoyed having you on before, and it looks like you've been busy again. I've, I've been, I'm not as busy as you guys, but I've been busy. You know, I, I know a lot of people uh, it, it may not know this, or if you're listening, Sherwood Baptist Church is in uh, Albany, uh, Georgia, or as we know how to call it, Albany. Yes. And uh, you have made the statement that you have you, you feel called to change the world from Albany, Georgia. Well, you know, uh, I think the Lord just kind of spoke to me one day when I was thinking, you know, if I was in a big city like Atlanta or Dallas or somewhere, you know, I could do great things for God. And God just kind of rattled my cage one day and said, you know, I did a pretty big thing in a little town called Bethlehem. Right. Yep. And, I mean, I went, okay, all right, got my attention. <laughs> now, you, you, you know, obviously— and, and, frankly, Albany's bigger than that. <laughs> I mean, I've been there. It, you're right. It's, it's a very nice town. Y'all got a nice mall there. Yeah, you really do, really do. Yeah, you're right. Uh, you know, the, 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 the remarkable story of these movies and, and the quality and, and uh, the, it continues to get better and better on every one, I, I wanted to ask you about this because the obvious, if you haven't picked up that— um, the folks with Sherwood Baptist Church that produce what we would call Christian movies. I just call them movies who happen to have a Christian message. But um, and, and trying to get into the arena of just being a choice for those of us who may be looking for something through the minefield of the entertainment that is available. And as we just said, entertainment belongs to God. It does not belong to, to the adversary. And, but, but one of the things this week, you know, we had the story about Kirk Cameron and, you know, Kirk, uh, obviously, if you don't know that, starred in, in Fireproof, uh, which uh, Michael Cadd and Sherwood Baptist produced. And, you know, he has his own movie that, uh, that he's produced and is trying to put out. And he was deemed to be abusive and dangerous, and therefore people should not be allowed to see the movie trailer because of his very controversial message of Christ is the only way to heaven and how dare we have a movie about how God is even more precious when you go through pain and suffering and um, with, considering that you're in the same vein, a ministry is what I would call it, but you're dealing with the business a- aspect of it as well. And then we find out that we're on the list. The army puts out as the most dangerous people, evangelical Christians. Um, how's it been for you guys? What, what do you think about this new atmosphere that's been created? Well, well, I think, you know, the one thing that happens when you turn on light is roaches start running. Right. And, uh, you know, we're trying to turn on the light. Kirk is trying to do that. Other people that are making Christian movies are trying to take back some portion of entertainment. And, you know, we the church used to own the arts. Uh, we gave it up for some reason and said everything that was in the arts was of the devil, and I think that was a huge mistake. Um, and so we gave it to the devil by default. Uh, I, I think we have to be prepared for this. I don't think we should be surprised by it. And quite honestly, the church does best in persecution. Uh, when we have the favored uh, child status, sometimes we water it down. Yeah. Sometimes we compromise it. Sometimes we don't say what we should say because we want people to like us. But really, it's what you were talking about in the previous uh, section. I want somebody to give me advice that's got answers, not opinions, and uh, something that works. And uh, I think we know that the gospel message works. And so I think we can we can anticipate that it will get worse. And yet, at the same time, in every studio in Hollywood, they're looking for family-friendly moral lesson, Christian-based movies, because they understand there is an audience out there that wants to see that. Yeah, no no, no doubt about it. And um, uh, you guys have done a good job, too. And back to this, you know, the, the quality has got to be there. And yes. uh, I, I know that uh, the, the painstaking process you guys go through uh, with the quality and also trying to hire actors that you hope won't 
get out in the headlines and embarrass you. And, right. And I know that's quite a process. Well, like uh, T.C. Stallings, who played the gang leader uh, in Courageous, he is actually a pastor in a church in California. Uh, just went there just a few months ago, still acting, but he's serving as a pastor and a teacher on a staff there. So, I mean, we've got people, you know, that have incredible ministries off camera. Uh, Robert Amaya, who played Javier, you know, the Snake King leader. Uh, Robert has a great ministry. He's traveling all over the country and speaking. We just finished uh, recording his new album. He's going to do it half in Spanish and half in English. And God's opening up great doors for him. So the movies have opened up doors for these people, kind of like what happened with Kirk. You know, they've opened up doors for people to go into churches and say, you know, be courageous. Don't be ashamed of the gospel. Don't be ashamed of who you are. Michael, uh, you know, I, I love the way that you guys are approaching the outreach on this. And I was reading about your Legacy Park. Now, is that up and running, or where are you at on that? And kind of explain that concept. It's a little off the tar- off what we're talking about, but I love the fact that you're uh, trying to spread the good news in many ways. Well, uh, yes, we, Legacy Park's 82 acres. We are finished with it. And, and by the way, uh, we do have tennis courts on it. So we're I looking heard that. for the first Bubba tennis tournament <laughs> to happen at Legacy Park. We need to bring that to Albany. <laughs> <laughs> but we've got, uh, we've got like eight soccer courts, uh, soccer fields of all sizes. We have an outdoor pavilion. We have a baseball hub with four baseball fields where we can change the outfield for, you know, small kids. And horseback riding, uh, got a fishing pond out there. Seventy-five percent of the people that use that sports park are not members of our church. They are people in our community. We built it to love on the community and to show the community we care about them. That's awesome. It is. Yep. Michael, uh, as we get, get toward the end here, I want to now move over to these, this men's conference. Uh, Hank Parker, Ted Trailer, uh, you and I will be speaking there. Uh, back in our home county, this is where Bubba and I and, and my brother were were raised uh, in, in Calhoun County. It's to be in Anniston, Alabama at Hillcrest Baptist Church. Strength of a Champion Men's Conference. Uh, what is your topic? What will you be, be talking about? I'm actually going to take uh, Caleb and talk about how Caleb asked, asked for a mountain at 85 yeah. years of age. Yeah. I think what happens to us, we hit mid-age and midlife, and we just kind of think we're going to coast to the finish line. And I want men to be the kind of guys, as long as they have breath and ability, they're asking God for a mountain. Yeah, that is an incredible story. One I really had never been taught as a kid growing up, and our pastor actually did Heroes of the Bible, and he went to Caleb. And those of you that may not be familiar with it, I I wasn't uh, until I heard that. This is when uh, they now need to go take the promised land, and this is the, the, the small group that actually said they could take it to begin with. And Caleb, at 85 years old, says, give me the hardest one. Give, right. I'll go get those people up in the mountain who nobody wanted to go after them because they were so well fortified and difficult to defeat. And at 85, he said, you give me that job. Right. And I think there's some principles in that story of, of what you have to do to be able to ask God for the hardest task. No. You know, like you've got to be faithful in a little task. Right. You've got you to prove that you're trustworthy. And that's what Caleb did, because over and over it says he followed the Lord fully. Right, and, and, so we, what, yeah, and we do tend to get a feeling toward, you know, you think, well, look, our, our, everybody seems to, when it comes to the church, give me the easiest job. I, I want to yeah. ser- <laughs> serve the Lord with the least amount of discomfort as possible. Yeah, I want to work at the dessert bar. <laughs> so, so most real, true men of God would say, give me the nursery. <laughs> Is that what you're saying? <laughs> Or let me help with the youth. Uh, yeah, that's uh, that's great. Well, Mike, I look forward to being with you. Uh, that'll be a lot of fun. And um, it's going to be great. If you want to get your tickets to that, Hillcrest Baptist Church, we have that in show notes today. Go to experiencehillcrest.com. Uh, and uh, we look forward to spending some time with all those men on August 2nd and 3rd uh, coming up uh, Hillcrest Baptist, Anniston, Alabama, where you hear us on Alabama 810 and and uh, our affiliate there in our, in our home area. I mean, it's three miles from – where I grew up and uh, just about 10 miles where Bubba grew up. So looking forward to being with you, Michael, and, and continue to fight the good fight, okay? 
Thank you. Thank you. Love you guys. Appreciate you. And Michael, I'm going to come visit one day if we can set it up. I want to see Legacy Park. <laughs> okay. You you come and I'll take you on the nickel tour. Uh, uh, we're going to do that one after. Yes. And as long as we don't pass anybody that's in, you know, having car trouble. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Just work on being a man of God, Rick. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Michael. Talk to you soon, buddy.